Sean's Morning Yoga Challenge. Day two, dynamic stretch. My friends, it's Coach V. Welcome to day two of your seven day morning yoga challenge. Let's get right to it. Good morning to you. Happy New Year. Happy Labor Day. Okay. Gonna move a lot more in this one. Modify as needed. Pause the video when you need to. Make sure you check in below. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. Let's bring it down onto our backs. Right knee comes in to the chest, head up or down, and switch. 10 times, back and forth. Here's three, draw the knee in. Inhale, exhale, four, five, Little adjustments in the back, perhaps. Six, seven, eight. Let's do two more. Nine and ten. Knees come into the chest. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. Always want to send all of that oxygen into our lower back. And fix the calf. It's pretty, it's warm and chilly at the same time. Warm and chilly. Let's move the head side to side. Good. Draw the knees in closer. The head comes back to center. Drop the legs back and forth six times. One. Two. Feel that stretch. Let the weight of the legs pull the spine open. Three. Four, five, and six. Excellent. Bottoms of the feet together. Supine butterfly from day one. Let's do those arm reaches again. Cross them this time. Inhale up. Exhale, bring them down. Palms up to the ceiling. And down four more times. And two, two more, three, practice these, practice. It's your video, pause at any time you need to. And bring them down, take the hands to the legs and press back and forth. Want to alleviate compression in the lower back, side to side. I'm getting a little sun here, vitamin D for Coach Vig. Oh, I haven't had sun in quite a while. Very invigorating. Invigorating. Okay. <clears throat> right knee in, left leg out, single leg stretch. Little Pilates here, head up or down. Ten times, bring the knee in, extend out. We want to get that energy going, get the blood flowing. And the oxygen in the nose, out the nose. Even it out, balance out the legs. Keep your lower back into the mat. Again, when you train with Coach Vig, the counting is never very great, but hopefully the movement is beneficial. Take the legs side to side again, six times. Shoulders are down. And one more time on each side. Then we'll get off our back. Get off my back. All right, knees into the chest. Hug them in, wiggle the fingers and the toes. Okay, rolling onto your sides, press up. And let's come to downward facing dog. Take a couple shoulder rolls first. Keep the chest nice and open, and then hands down. Take the feet back, hands shoulder width, feet hip width, and walk the legs 10 times at a twist. Two, three, four, five, six, sink the heels down, seven, eight. Man, the sky is pretty, isn't that pretty? Better than working out in a studio. I like to be outside. 
All right, inhale forward, plank position, drop the knees to modify, elbows in, shoulders back, and then exhale, press back to downward facing dog. You can also do this with your knees down. I just said that. Let's do it six more times. Inhale forward. Oh, the core engages right there. Then we stretch, sinking the heels down. Beautiful. And back. As always, I add one extra onto this. Maybe it's extra, maybe it's not. I don't know. Take it back to down dog. Then let the knees come wide. Press back, child's pose. Child's pose to cobra. We did cobra in day one. Let's piece this together. Inhale forward and then drop down. Inhale, lift, cobra. Exhale, lower. Feel the length in the spine. On your next exhale, press back, child's pose. Four more times. Here we go. I said four. I mean it. I mean it, darn it. You get a back bend and an inversion and a stretch here. Three more. More times each one feel that long stretch hands further forward to decompress the spine getting some arm work some shoulder work and back I say one more time lift elbows in open the chest lower down Take it back, child's pose. From child's pose, we come to down dog. All right, left foot forward. Drop that right knee. Let's work that low lunge again. Take the shoulders back and down. Get all the rubber off your hands. If that's a problem, I don't know if it is. Arms out, palms forward, twisting 10 times. Exhale, twist. Keep the movement going. Very focused, very precise. It's all a flow. Here's three. Inhale, center. Exhale to the side. Four. Five. Five more times. Six. Seven. Ta-da. Eight. Nine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ten. All right, hands down, step back, downward facing dog, shake it out. Let that neck be loose. I don't know what's on the mat there. Here we go. All right, right foot forward, low lunge. Line up the knee and the ankle. Slide, I just spit. Slide the left knee back. Up, shoulders back and down, and let's twist it. 10 times, here we go. Keep the foundation of the lunge. All these things you're taking with you into your day. Exhale to the side. Inhale center. Four. A little looser on this side. We always balance it out. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. And ten. Ta-da. Back to the center. Step it back, downward facing dog. Walk the feet forward. Chair pose, feet hip width, press back. Take the hands together. Boom, right here, it's a frozen squat. So your shoulders are down, your weight is in your heels, your toes are loose. We're gonna do chair to forward fold. So exhale, dive down, squeeze out the breath. Keep the knees a little soft. Inhale, bend the knees. Back to chair. Let's do it five more times. With precision, with breath. There's one, four more. Two. Okay, 
Okay, dive it down. One more time. Chair, forward fold, hold it here, five breaths. Walk the legs if you like. Good, let that spine decompress. Okay, knees come down. Whew. Sitting on the heels or sitting cross-legged, shoulder rolls. Might not think much of these, but they are lifesavers. Great way to reset your posture. So shoulders back and down, abs are engaged, chest is open. And your neck is loose. Keep the tension out of your jaw. Oh, <laughs> went on a little trip there. One more time, a shoulder roll trip. Shoulders back and down. Pigeon, little variation on our classic pigeon. Bring the right knee forward, slide the left leg back. As much as you like, walk the right foot ahead. Start with some pigeon slides. Four times we're gonna exhale, slide forward into the wet artificial turf. Inhale, walk the hands up. Proud pigeon, lifting, opening the abdominals. Again, slide forward. Walk it up, get some grime on your mat. Good. It's not a workout unless your mat is covered in mud and dirt. Like grass stains on the knees. One more time. And we walk up. Now this is a new pigeon variation. Are you ready? A little rocking to the side. Bring your right forearm down. We're gonna rock it, rock it. There we go. And then back to the center. So you're gonna use your upper body weight to smush that right leg down and get a nice twist. Four more times. Here we go. Exhale. Inhale. Two. Two more times. Excellent, one more time. That'll do it, that'll do it. Okay, proud pigeon, bring the hands up, lift. Shoulders back, and let's switch to the other side. Bring it back, shake it out, and left knee forward. Find the pigeon. This side always feels a little tighter for me, so. I'm gonna give it extra attention. Here we go. Right over the center. Get that string out of there. Okay, when you're ready, five times. Let's do the proud to the slide. Proud to slide. Let me slow it down a little bit. I, my tendency is to keep moving a little faster. So it's a good challenge for me. Slow it down. Two more times. Yeah, this flow moves quite a bit. I like to, well, it is called a challenge, seven day challenge. I like to keep shaking it up. Keep it interesting, especially on the second day. So our bodies are always acclimating, they're shocked. All right, now we do our rocking to the side. Oh, that's lovely. And then down. Let's do it four more times. Good. Open up, open up, use that weight. Pushing this leg down one more time. Mm-hmm. Ooh, have to hang out here later today, further investigate. Okay, proud pigeon, up we go. <sighs> Downward facing dog, <laughs> got fleas on my mat. 
Walk the legs 10 times. Twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left foot full. We'll finish off. Active wide legged twists with the forward fold. Eddie, you still there? Okay. Feet are wide. I'm shifting. Something shifting. Come down. 10 times. Reach up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Here's three. And four. Best shape of our lives. Stronger every darn day. Six. Seven. And blue skies. A smiling at me. Two more times. Nine. <laughs> and ten. Forward fold. Side to side. And rising up, bring the feet, hip width, shake it out. My friends, that's day two. How do you feel? Check in below. Definitely took it up a notch. It's a challenge. I want you every day to come onto this mat and be challenged. So we spark that improvement in your mind, body, even in your spirit every day. If this helped, please hit the like button, subscribe to never miss a workout, and share this challenge with your friends and on your social media. Share it everywhere. It's me, Coach V. I will see you tomorrow for day three of your seven-day morning yoga challenge somewhere in the Colorado Rockies. Where will it be? Where will it be? <laughs> God bless.